at the time of the Prophet Wasallam, the only people surrounding him were people of either, you know, idol worshipping people, atheists, Christians and Jews. The Christians and Jews were the more knowledgeable people, the idol worshippers were not an intellectual people, they were Bedouins in the Arab society. Even the Christians and the Jews at the time believed that the earth was the center of the universe. Okay? And this ayah comes down and says, this is Surah Yasin, Surah number 36, لَشَّمْسُ يَنْبَغِيْ لَهَا أَن تُدْرِكَ الْقَمَرِ وَلَلَّيْلُ سَابِقُ النَّهَارِ And then this part, وَكُلٌّ فِي فَلَكٍ يَسْبَحُونَ In the beginning of the ayah, he's talking about the moon and the sun keeping their order, not coming out of their orbits, and then he talks about night and day not transgressing. When it's time for night, it's night. When it's time for day, it's day, and they don't transgress each other. They keep their limits. So far, he's talking about the sun and the moon and the earth and time. Right? But then he says, وَكُلٌّ فِي فَلَكٍ يَسْبَحُونَ And all of them are floating in their own orbits. Falak means orbit. يَسْبَحُونَ To swim or to float. So all of them in their own orbits, they are floating. Now at the time, one belief was, the closer to scientific belief was, the sun is at the center of the universe. And yet Allah is going a step further at this time, 1500 years ago, and what's He saying? The earth has an orbit, the moon has an orbit and the sun has an orbit.